So what do you think are the odds of a person making a hole in one? According to the National Hole-in-One Registry, the odds of an average golfer like you or me making a hole-in-one is 12,500 to one. Now, if you're a professional golfer, first of all, congratulations. And second, the odds of you making a hole-in-one increase to 2,500 to one. Way better odds for sure, but still not a sure thing, unlike what we will be teaching preschoolers this month. This month, we are talking about God's plans for me. Well, God's plans for you, me, our preschoolers, their parents, everyone. God has plans for every person, which is really good news because God's plans are always a hole in one. We can fully trust God's plans because God's plans are always the best. Now in week one, we'll share one of the most exciting and well-loved Bible stories with our preschoolers, Noah's Ark. Now we love this story because we get to read all of it in one sitting. We know how God's plans work out. But imagine if you were Noah and his family. They had to trust and follow God's plans each step of the way over many, many years, not knowing how things would turn out. Now, fortunately for Noah, one thing he did know was that he could always trust God's plans, and he did. Now in week two, we get to introduce preschoolers to the very first rainbow. And even better, we get to teach them that the rainbow is part of God's plans for them. See, every time we see a rainbow in the sky, God is also looking at that same rainbow and remembering the promise to never flood the entire world again. It's such a special story that reminds us that we are all a part of a much bigger plan. Now in week three, we leave Noah safe and sound on dry ground, and we meet a new guy who trusted God's plans for him. His name is Joseph. Now, if anyone ever had reasons to doubt God's plans, it had to be Joseph. He went through some really painful times, but he shows us that we can trust God's plans even when they're hard. Now in week four, we get to see that God's plans for Joseph really did work out. And not just for Joseph either. Because Joseph trusted and followed God's plans, he collected enough grain to save all of the people in Egypt from starving, plus Joseph's own family and people from all over the world. Now talk about a hole in one. Then in week five, the prophet Jeremiah will help us wrap up the month with the wonderful truth that God knows the plans he has for us. This means that even when we don't understand the plans, we can still trust the one who does because God loves us so much that he made plans for each and every one of us.